My major concern is that it's, it's absolutely wrong that this should occur. My other major concern is that he's not taken on board the, the voices of the Aboriginal community. 27 native title groups told Jay Weatherall and Commissioner Scarce that we don't want it in South Australia. Commissioner Scarce basically said to us that then maybe I'm talking to the wrong people. We found that offensive and, and disrespectful to the traditional owners of this country and so we still object to it and the 27 native title groups still are opposing this project. What we're going to lose there is a, is a lot of cultural genocide because there will be most probably be traditional practices that have been held on that on that grand you know, burial sites, you know, birthing sites for for the women, and 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 meeting places. And these are the concerns that we're having. This is that this is the lack of respect that is being given to us as traditional owners. We're losing this on a daily basis. The total thing is about let's establish a mine, let's put in a dump, something and where well, this waste does not belong to us, so why should it be given to us? They don't have any respect, it's all about the financial gains that they make and the legacy that they leave behind. And this will be one of the baddest legacies that Jay Weatherall will leave, but in a 10,000 years time nobody will know Jay Weatherall or me. But the thing about it is the damage will be done and people will say, why did this occur? Why did this happen in such a beautiful country like South Australia, in a beautiful country like Australia? And I raised the question a while ago, why is South Australia the only place on this planet that's looking for this? If it's so great, why aren't every other nation and country stepping up to the plate? There's something wrong.